Greetings everyone and welcome. My name is Alfred and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dark mode theme in Flutter. This is the kind of application that we are going to result with. And the idea here is when we're in dark mode theme, like currently we're in dark mode theme, we want to click on the light mode theme here and we're going to change to the light mode theme. If we click it again then it's going to take us to the dark mode theme which is the current currently running in the application so this is the kind of um, activity that we're going to do and it will be a continuation of the last video where we did the custom navbar and as you can see the navbar is the one that we are using right now if you don't have a link or you did not check out the custom nav bar in Flutter, don't worry, I will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get to the resources and to the video itself. So let's go ahead and start um, implementing the dark mode theme in Flutter. Here, I already have the application that we created lastly, where we are creating the custom nav bar in Flutter. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this application. So if you can remember, we created a custom nav bar and we're going to continue creating our dark mode theme from this application. So there are some of the things that we require to have so that we can create uh, a successful dark mode theme. And one of those is a plugin, and we're going to be using uh, the Flutter provider. We'll be using the provider to manage our states. So let's go to the Flutter package uh, website, and we're going to check for the Flutter provider. We're going to type in provider. And I'll hit the uh, enter key on my keyboard, and here I have the provider. I am going to I'll download the provider 6.0.5. I click on this icon here to copy the installation uh, text. I'm going back to my uh, text editor here and I'm going to the pubspec.yaml and here then I will just go ahead and paste in whatever I copied from the website. I'm going to save changes on this file and it's going to start installing the uh, Flutter provider. It installed successfully and now we can start working on the provider. What I'm going to do in the library folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'll call it state. Inside the state folder, I'm going to create a new folder here and I'll call it UI. All right. And in this UI, we're going to store all our state concerning the UI in this folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to call it UI provider dot dot like that. And now I'll get inside the UI provider dot dot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a class and I'll call this class UI provider. And the class UI provider gonna say with change not fire like that and here I'm just going to have the construct my class so I'll start by creating some of the variables in this class and the first one that will be need will be the is dark mode remember you can call this variable whatever you want you want but mine I'm going to have it as a boolean and I'll call it is dark mode and initially it will be true. What this means that it means that my application will boot up in dark mode theme. You can change that by passing the value of the dark mode is dark mode to false and the application should start in light mode theme. So after that, what I want to do, I'm going down here and I will have a getter. So I'm going to create a getter here and I will say uh, get free mode. And what I'm going to do, 
just for consistency, going to have this one in comma case. And I'm going to say get theme mode. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to return is dark mode like that. All right. So another thing I'm going to have a setter here, but instead of having a setter, what I'm going to do, because we only have two values, it's either the dark mode it's on or it's off. So what I can do here is just to have a toggle and I'm going to say toggle theme. And um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have uh, a third method. It's going to be void. It's not going to return anything. So I can just say void. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set the opposite of the current dark mode uh, value. So, for example, if it's in dark mode, I'm going to send the reverse. So, if the dark mode is true, I'll send back the false. And one thing I need to do here before I leave is not fire the listeners. So, that the whoever is listening to this uh, provider is going to get the changes to whatever the current theme is. All right. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm going inside still inside my state here. I'm going to do one thing. I'll create a new file and I'll say provider export uh, dot dot. So I'll use this file to export or to expose all my providers that I define. And here I'm going to define one variable to be a list. So it will be final list. And this list will be of type a uh, single child, the single child uh, widget, like that. And I'm going to call it base uh, provider. And it's going to be an array. So this should be child. Widget because I have to import the provider package, the provider package that we installed, if you remember. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pass in the first provider that we want to export. And just going to say it's changed not fire. And here I'm just going to have the value and then the value itself going to be. not fire and this one should be provider so change not fire provider and the value that i'm gonna pass here is the provider that we define the ui provider if you remember that's what we did in the provider uh class this one in the ui provider class all right so our by the configuration it's ready and we can use it so for us to be able to use the defined provider we'll go back to our main file with the boot method the main boot method and what i'm going to do inside my uh, stateless widget here and inside the build method which is this one here Instead of returning directly the, the material op, I'm going to start by returning a uh, mount provider here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say return mount provider it should be mount uh, provider, this guy here. And provider, it's going to be now the base provider. If you remember, if you just defined the base provider like that. And it's going to have a child. And uh, the child that I'm going to provide uh, to the uh, consumer. So I'm going to have a consumer here. And... Uh, 
it's going to be of type UI provider. So UI provider. If you remember, this is the UI provider that we just did. And it's going to have a builder. So, and builder, it's going to, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to start to have uh, is and I'll just say I don't need the context and I'm going just to name it base uh, UI provider All right like that and then it's gonna have a body it's gonna have a body here like that and uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to copy the system overlay style, which I'm going to cut it all through, and I'm going to have it defined uh, here. So I'm just going to have it defined inside here. It's complaining because we have to return something, but don't worry, we'll be returning just in a field. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some variables here. The first variable will be the status. Uh, I'll call it status bar text. And it's going to be uh, brightness. Don't, don't light. Because remember we have a dark mode theme as our default. But, so it means that we're going to have light text. So we're going to have a white text on our status bar. Another variable that I'm going to define here is the navigation, I'll call it navigation bar text, and it's still it's going to be the same. You could just equate it to the same thing, actually. You don't need to define uh, uh, both of them because I think they're going to be the same, so we don't need uh, uh, just get, just going to say uh, status text so it will stand for both the uh, nav bar and the uh, navigation bar I mean the status bar and the navigation bar all right so another thing that we're gonna need is the background color and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna say uh, uh, I'm going to call it BG color and it's gonna be uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to define some extra colors in my theme. So here I have some extra colors in my theme, and I'll just bring them in. You can just go ahead and copy them. So I define some, I define some. I, so I have a me method that converts this value to valid color in Flutter. And I'm just going to grab the methods, it's really very small. I'm just going to paste it at the end of my document here. And this is the function that just con converts the color for me. All right. And now it's gone. And what I can do here, just going to say the background color will be equal to one of the colors that we have here. All right. So for now, because we're in dark mode, I'm just going to say to be uh, dark mode. Uh, dark mode primary background but I'm going to pass in opacity and if you pass them I'm going to pass very small so that we're not going to see the color itself all right I'm going to say 0 0.0095 uh, I think that value is small enough to let us see through all right and then another thing that I want to do I only want to do this stuff here, I only want to change the status bar of my application if only I'm running on uh, either Android or iOS. When I'm running on the desktop, I don't need to have the status uh, uh, bar. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to check. So check if, uh, if I am running iOS or Android. So platform if platform uh, is Android and I should bring in feed.io from 
should be a cloud form. It's not this guy. I should be able to import the I.O. If this one or uh, so if it's Android or it's uh, it's iOS so again platform dot iOS then I'm gonna need all of this stuff so gonna need to set the system overlay style on my status bar and as well as on my uh, navigation bar, the bottom navigation bar. All right, so that is that. And then what I'm going to do in um, the brightness, now instead of using this color here, I'm just going to use the, uh, uh, the status text that we defined here. And I'm going to use it for both the brightness, like that. And for the color, which is uh, transparent, now I'm going to use this one. It should let us see through though. And uh, still I'm going to use it here. Right? Like that. And then what I'm going to do, just going to copy the, this return. And I should just be able to paste it in. I think I messed with the clipboard. So I just I should be able to paste it in just like that. And one thing that it's remaining here uh, is the duck duck for the mod. So just going to bring this one in. So I'm gonna have this one as duck. Alright. Duck theme. And of course it's gonna be duck mode and this one is gonna be light light color scheme and then what I am missing here is the theme mode and theme mode is going to be uh, defined by the uh, the provider here by the UI provider so what I'm going to have to do is if the base UI provider dot get theme get theme mode if that's true then I am going to have uh, dark mode theme applied to my application, so I'm gonna have the theme mode to dark, All right? Otherwise, I'll have the light theme applied for my application. So this is gonna be light, All right? Like that. So let's go ahead and try to reload the application, All right? And we still have the dark mode theme applied. What we can do right now, just to spin things around, I'm gonna go to my uh, provider here, and I'm gonna change this one to false. And let's see what happened. So I changed that one to false. So it's not gonna be in dark mode theme. So let's see what, what happens. And sure enough now, we can see we've changed from the uh, from the dark mode theme to the light one, right? So, but we are still missing some things. So what we can do, I am going to remove the background color so that we have only the, the color that we define from our theme, all right? So to do that, I'll go to our home here. And I remember where we defined the image, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove the image, all right? It's gonna extend, it's gonna be that's okay. So I think that that's fine. I'm going to hot restart the application and it should have now uh of course having the uh, light mode theme applied everywhere, right? So but we're still having still missing something on our uh, status status bar here, it's still uh showing white text. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve that. So for us to be able to address this issue of the uh, text color here, we're going back to our main. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to provide some checks. So I'm going to say if, and it will be uh, if, 
And if not, if not dark mode, then then what can we do? If the base provider dot uh, uh, get the mode, if not that, then what means that we're going to redefine this and this as well. So going to mutate this, just going to have it here and uh, this one here as well. And now what I can do, now that this one was light, I'm going to just change this one to dark. And uh, I'm going to change this one to, to as, uh, dark so I have the light as secondary PG. And if you want to see where that one is coming from, then you'll have to go to the uh, theme here, theme color, and you find them here. This is the dark part and this is the light part, all right? Okay, so I'll go back to the main file here, and I'm going to save that, and that should solve our problem. That should solve our problem. So I go back, and sure enough, it solves our problem. And as you can see now, we have a dark text on our status bar, all right? Okay, so one thing that's remaining is that we have to fix this so that when we click on the uh, toggle here, or theme toggle here, it's then going to toggle the current theme and change it to the other theme, all right? So how do we do that? So the way we do that is, uh, uh, it's simple. It's, it's uh, almost quite very simple. And we're going to, the nav bar and in the nav bar is where we have the toggler where we have the icon so this icon here it's on the navigation bar right so what we can do here if maybe we're going to be using this nav bar to change a lot of state we can just uh, uh going here and instead of having the child of our safe area is the container I'm just going to have a consumer here and uh, I'm going to have that and have that. I'm going to import the provider and uh, the provider, of course, the, the package. All right. And then I'm going to return the container inside my consumer here. So I'm going to get that out. Go ahead and uh, have that. I'm going to say return and just going to return the container. And I think we are missing something. Uh, this guy here. So this is this. This is this. And we have one more for the save area. And uh, this is this. And now I can get rid of this. All right. So I'm going to save that. And then uh, what we can do, we can go to the icon that it's supposed to toggle the theme. And I believe it's this one. So what I'm going to do here, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, say UI provider. But I think it's a, it's a base UI provider. So I'm just going to call it, uh, I'll call it just UI provider. So UI, UI provider, I'm just going to call it like, I'll call it like that, UI provider. And uh, here, so I'm going to pass this, that's me. So I'm going to pass the UI provider, which is UI provider dot provider dot need the other stuff. So dot it's gonna be toggle theme like that I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna check if I have the uh, dot uh, get theme mode if this is true it means dark so we need to go to light mode 
light mode else to maintain the light mode and we have to go to the icons dot uh dot jack mode right so i'm gonna save that go ahead and reload the application again and uh as you can see now we can toggle between the light and dark mode i'm now in dark mode I'm going to toggle back to light mode and now you can see we can change our theme so thank you very much for being with me on this one i'll see you in the next one